The exciting opportunities for a freight forwarder. Freight forwarder or forwarding agent. Please subscribe, like and share. A freight forwarder or forwarding agent organizes import and or export shipments and works within the shipping and logistics sector. These shipments may be for individuals or for other companies such as manufacturers or retailers. A freight forwarder will usually act as an agent rather than an active carrier. In this way, a forwarding agent is a third-party, non-asset-based, logistics provider who works to dispatch shipments via asset-based carriers. Freight forwarding positions involve booking and arranging space for shipments on carriers such as vessels, aeroplanes, trucks and trains. FIATA, the trade association for freight forwarding and logistics firms, defines a freight forwarder as an architect of shipping, and this shows the commercial position of a forwarder in relation to their clients. What kind of jobs are available within the freight forwarding industry? There are many different career opportunities within the freight forwarding industry. Here are just a few that are available within the shipping and logistics sector. Import clerk. Export clerk. Freight clerk. Air freight manager. Sea freight import clerk. Sea freight export clerk. Sea freight manager. Export manager. Import manager. Project forwarder. Customs Entry Clerk Customs Clearance Clerk What does a freight forwarder or forwarding agent job description include? The main purpose of a freight forwarder or forwarding agent is to arrange cargo movements to destinations overseas. In this role you could be involved in all modes of transport including air, sea, road and rail freight. An international freight forwarder will have specialist expertise relating to preparing and processing documentation for international shipping. A forwarding agent will typically review documentation such as commercial invoices and shippers export declaration bills of lading. A freight forwarder or forwarding agent will also look at any other documents required by the carrier or the country of import or transshipment, including home customs documents, which are produced digitally, creating paperless working methods. The role of freight forwarder or forwarding agent involves working with others and so being able to communicate clearly and being very organized is essential. Specialist and European Forwarding Agent Roles In Europe, there are a variety of specialist forwarding agent roles. These niche roles include jobs specializing in routing traffic throughout Europe, to collection and deliveries around a large port, half in speditor, and rail freight specialists. In some countries, a forwarding agent may work only with domestic traffic, never handling international cargo. Key skills and qualifications of a freight forwarder or forwarding agent. Previous experience as a freight forwarder or forwarding agent is preferable, but a background in administration may be acceptable. Good numeric skills are required as the role of freight forwarder or forwarding agent deals with quantities and volume. Problem-solving and negotiating skills are also an advantage in the role of freight forwarder or forwarding agent. For those positions that deal with international cargo, ideally you will have specialist knowledge of the procedures and steps that need to be carried out to move cargo on an international scale. Excellent communication skills both written and verbal are required as a freight forwarder or forwarding agent is required to liaise with different organizations, groups in their daily tasks. Must be familiar with computer software programs e.g. Word, Excel, etc. How to find more freight forwarder or forwarding agent jobs within the shipping and logistics industry. To find more freight forwarder or forwarding agent jobs or other jobs within this sector, or to place a vacancy, please contact us. Please subscribe, like and share for more educational videos. Please subscribe, like and, share for more educational videos about the freight business. Freight forwarding is one of the most widely used methods of international transport for both business and personal use. Freight forwarding companies, like Universal Cargo and the International Logistics Center, coordinate the shipment of goods from one destination to another using a range of carriers, including air freight, ocean freight, road freight and, in some cases, railway freight. The process of freight forwarding might seem daunting, especially if you're not familiar with the process of freight shipping, but these 13 facts you need to know about freight forwarding will help you through the process. 1. What is a freight forwarder? 
A freight forwarder is responsible for the transportation of goods between one destination and another. Freight forwarding companies specialize in arranging the whole process for their shippers, from the storage to the shipping of their merchandise. They act as an intermediary between the shipper and transportation services, liaising with various carriers to negotiate on price and decide on the most economical, reliable and fastest route. 2. A hassle-free way to import and export goods. Using a freight forwarder to import and export goods can make the whole process much less stressful. Extremely knowledgeable in the elements of supply chain, freight forwarders can assist on all levels, from the packing and warehouse stages to the customs procedure, taking some of the pressure off you. 3. Freight forwarders provide a range of services. Freight forwarders can assist with the supply chain process on multiple levels including Customs clearance International export and import documentation Insurance Packing Storage Inventory management 4. Advantages to your business Using a freight forwarding company for the transportation of goods to your consumer can be advantageous to your business in many ways. Using their knowledge and expertise, freight forwarders will ensure that your goods will arrive at the correct destination on time and save you money in the process, compared to doing it alone. 5. They are not responsible for shipping delays. Freight forwarding companies are not responsible for delays in shipping. These delays often occur due to bad weather, breakdown, port delays or unforeseen route changes. Although shipping delays can be frustrating, it is important to remember that it is out of your freight forwarding company's hands and that they're trying to resolve it as quickly as possible. 6. It's important to maintain a good relationship with your freight forwarder. Your freight forwarder is in charge of your precious cargo, so it's important that you establish a good working relationship with them. You want to ensure that you choose a company that you can trust and rely on, as well as one with impeccable customer service to ensure that your cargo shipments arrive safely and on time. 7. You need to make sure your paperwork is up to date. Before leaving your goods in the hands of your freight forwarder, you need to ensure that all of the paperwork for transporting your goods is completed. Your freight company will be able to help you with this, but it's an incredibly important step to reduce the risk of your items not being released from customs or the bank refusing to release your funds, neither of which would be beneficial to your business. 8. Shipping restrictions apply to certain products. Freight forwarding companies adhere to strict regulations and will not carry certain goods and substances, particularly by air or sea freight. Although the list of prohibited items varies from country to country, freight forwarders are generally restricted on dangerous goods, including flammable liquid and toxic items, drugs, prescription and recreational, alcohol, batteries, perishable items, except for those on special express delivery, sharp objects. 9. Ask your freight forwarding company about extra services. Many freight forwarding companies offer extra services for your shipment, so it's always worth asking them when receiving a quote. These extra services include warehouse storage, cargo insurance, cargo tracking and dangerous goods handling. Even if you don't require them, it's always worth bearing these additional services in mind for future reference. 10. There are six key stages of freight forwarding. The freight forwarding process can be broken up into six key stages, including Export haulage, the transfer of goods from its original source to the freight forwarder's warehouse. Origin handling, the unloading, inspection and validation of the cargo against its booking documents. Export customs clearance, the goods receive clearance to leave its country of origin. Import customs clearance, the customs paperwork for your cargo will be checked by the authorities. Destination handling, the handling of cargo once it reaches the destination office, including transfer to the import warehouse. Import haulage, the transfer of cargo from the import warehouse to its final destination. 11. Your freight forwarder should provide you with a range of documents. With freight forwarding comes a lot of paperwork, especially when shipping overseas. Your freight forwarder should provide you with all of the relevant documents, including Commercial invoice Bill of lading contract Certificate of origin statement Inspection certificate Export license Export packing list Shipper's export declaration document 
It's essential that all of these documents are provided in order to ensure that your goods reach your customer without any issues arising. 12. The strength of a freight forwarder's network is vital. Well-established freight forwarders will have an incredibly strong network of contacts and experience in the business. Not only will this help you to get the best price for shipping your cargo, but it will also ensure that your goods arrive in a timely manner. Experienced freight forwarders will have encountered a multitude of problems along the way, so they'll be able to quickly and efficiently deal with any issues which may arise as your goods are transported. 13. Does your freight forwarder specialize in a particular cargo type? Some freight forwarders focus on a specific type of cargo, whereas some other companies accept a variety of goods. Finding a freight forwarder who specializes in what you're looking to ship is beneficial. Not only will they have a team of specialists in place, but they will also have vast experience in dealing with cargo similar to yours. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share for more educational videos about the freight business. Welcome everyone. Please subscribe, like and scare for more insightful videos about freight management. Thank you. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of air freight services. Picture this, the latest fashion trends from Paris, landing in Tokyo in less than 24 hours, or fresh fruits from South Africa, gracing the supermarkets in London the very next day. How is all this possible? The answer lies in the incredible world of air freight services. Air freight is the process of transporting goods by air, using specially dedicated aircraft or commercial passenger flights. It's a crucial cog in the wheel of global trade, connecting producers, suppliers, and consumers across continents in a matter of hours. Imagine a world without air freight. No next day deliveries, no fresh strawberries from Spain in your local grocery store, and a longer wait for that latest gadget you have been eyeing. Sounds inconvenient, right? That's the power and importance of air freight services in our globalized world. The air freight industry is a complex tapestry woven with different types of services. These services cater to diverse needs, from delivering a package right to your doorstep to transporting bulk cargo between airports. The beauty of this system lies in its versatility and adaptability. Whether it's a small package or a large shipment, air freight services ensure it reaches its destination quickly and efficiently. Air freight services aren't just about speed, they're also about security. With advanced tracking systems and secure handling procedures, your goods are safe and sound during their aerial journey. Plus, air freight services can handle a wide range of cargo, from perishables to high-value items, making it a preferred choice for many businesses and individuals. But like any other industry, the air freight industry has its set of challenges. Fluctuating fuel prices, strict regulations, and environmental concerns, to name a few. However, with constant innovation and adaptability, the industry continues to soar high, quite literally. Now that we've set the stage, it's time to explore the different types of air freight services. So buckle up, as we're about to take off into the intriguing and exciting world of air freight services. Let's get started, shall we? Let's begin with door-to-door -door air freight services. This service is the epitome of convenience and efficiency in the air freight industry, Picture it as a seamless relay race where your shipment is the baton. From the moment it leaves your hands, it's passed along a well-coordinated chain of professionals who ensure its safe arrival at the final destination. This service eliminates the need for you to coordinate with multiple service providers or navigate complex freight schedules. Instead, your air freight provider takes responsibility for the entire journey of your package. They pick it up from your doorstep, handle all the necessary paperwork, oversee customs clearance, and ensure it's delivered to the recipient's doorstep in the destination country. Door-to-door -door air freight services are designed to make shipping as straightforward and stress-free as possible. It's about more than just moving goods. It's about providing a comprehensive service that caters to your needs. With door-to-door -door services, you're assured of a hassle-free shipment process. Scene script. Next, we have door-to-airport, airport-to-airport, and depot services. Let's start with door to airport. This service is rather self-explanatory. Your goods are picked up from your doorstep and delivered right to the airport. The key advantage here is convenience. You don't have to worry about the logistics of getting your items to the airport. The service provider takes care of that for you. This service is ideal when you have a large shipment, 
or when the airport is a significant distance away from your location. Moving on, we have airport to airport services. This is a streamlined service where shipments are transported from one airport to another. It's a no frills option that's perfect for those who prefer to handle the pickup and delivery of their goods themselves. If you have your own logistics team, or if you're shipping to a business that has one, this service can be a cost-effective choice. Last but not least are depot services, which include depot to airport and depot to door. With depot to airport, you deliver your goods to a depot and they are then transported to the airport. This service is great when you're located close to the depot and can easily deliver your items there. Depot to door, on the other hand, involves goods being picked up from a depot and delivered directly to your door. It's a hybrid solution that combines the convenience of door-to-door -door service with the cost-effectiveness of depot to airport service. The beauty of these services is that they cater to different logistics needs. Whether you're a business that prefers to handle certain aspects of the logistics process, yourself or an individual who values convenience above all else, there's a service that's right for you. It's important to note that while these services aim to make the shipping process easier, they do not include customs clearance or delivery from the airport to your final destination. These are separate services that may incur additional charges. These services offer flexibility, catering to a variety of logistics needs. Now, let's turn our attention to air freight groupage services. Air freight groupage services, also known as consolidated shipping, offer a cost-effective solution for transporting smaller quantities of goods. This type of service combines shipments from multiple customers into one large consignment, maximizing the use of space in the aircraft and reducing the cost per unit for each customer. Imagine this scenario. You need to ship a small batch of products, but the cost of hiring an entire aircraft is prohibitive. Enter groupage services. Your goods are packed together with those of other shippers, filling up the plane and bringing down the cost for everyone involved. It's like carpooling for cargo. But what about the logistics once the plane touches down at the destination? Well, that's where additional services come into play. Many air freight groupage service providers also offer customs clearance and delivery services. This means they handle all the paperwork and procedures to get your goods through customs and then deliver them to the final destination, be it a warehouse or directly to your customer's door. However, it's important to note that these additional services usually entail extra charges. While these charges do add to the overall cost, they also save you the time and hassle of navigating the complex world of customs clearance and local delivery logistics yourself. For those who would prefer to handle the customs clearance and delivery themselves, there is an option to collect your goods directly from the airport or warehouse. This can be a more economical choice, especially if you are familiar with the customs procedures and have a reliable local delivery network. In summary, air freight groupage services offer a flexible, cost-effective solution for shipping smaller quantities of goods internationally. By consolidating shipments and offering additional services such as customs clearance and delivery, these services can significantly simplify the logistics of international trade for small and medium-sized businesses. Groupage services provide an economical solution for shipping smaller quantities. Destination customs clearance is a critical part of air freight services. Now, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of this process. The journey begins when your goods arrive at the destination airport. The first step is to declare your goods to the customs authority. This is usually done by filling out a customs declaration form where you provide information about the nature of your goods, their value, and the country of origin. Next up, you'll need to provide certain documents. This typically includes a commercial invoice that details the transaction between the buyer and the seller, a packing list that describes the goods, and a bill of lading, which serves as a receipt for the cargo and evidence of the contract of carriage. In some cases, you might also need to present a certificate of origin, especially for goods subject to preferential trade agreements. Once your documents are in order, Customs officers will assess your goods to determine the applicable customs duty and taxes. This is based on the Harmonized System, an international nomenclature for the classification of products. It's important to accurately classify your goods to avoid unnecessary charges or potential penalties. After the assessment, you'll need to pay the determined customs duty and taxes. Remember, these costs are not included in your freight charges and will need to be budgeted for separately. The final step is the release of your goods. 
Once you've paid all the dues, Customs will release your shipment. If you've opted for a door-to-door -door service, your freight forwarder will handle the last mile haulage, delivering the goods right at your doorstep. But if you've opted for an airport-to-airport -airport service, you'll need to arrange for the collection and transportation of your goods from the airport. This might sound like a lot to take in, but don't worry. Many freight forwarders offer customs clearance services, which can help you navigate this process with ease. Understanding customs clearance procedures can make your shipping process smoother and more predictable. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's recap. We dove into the world of air freight services, where we explored the different types available. We highlighted door-to-door -door services, offering convenience and efficiency. We also touched on door-to-airport, airport-to-airport and depot services, each with their own unique benefits and considerations. We delved into air freight groupage services, a cost-effective solution for shipping both commercial and personal goods. Remember, these usually include customs clearance at the destination and delivery or collection from the warehouse, though they come with extra charges. We also illuminated the process of destination customs clearance for those who prefer to collect their own goods at the airport. We highlighted the necessary documents, tax implications and last mile haulage. And with that, we've reached the end of our journey through air freight services. Thanks for joining us. Remember to subscribe, like and share our content. See you in our next exploration of the logistics world. Have you ever wondered how goods are transported across the globe? It's a fascinating dance of logistics, a complex system of moving parts that creates a seamless supply chain. At the heart of this intricate ballet is sea shipping, a method of transport that carries a staggering 70% of the world's trade. Now, compare this with other methods like air and road transport. Air transport, while speedy, is costly and limited by payload. Road transport, on the other hand, while flexible and cost-effective for short distances, is not suitable for long-range intercontinental logistics. Sea shipping, however, strikes a balance. It offers a vast capacity, cost-effectiveness, and the ability to transport goods over great distances. From the mammoth oil tankers to the colossal container ships, the sea is a bustling highway of global commerce. Indeed, sea shipping is an indispensable part of global trade. But why is sea shipping so crucial, you might wonder? Well, there are a number of reasons. First off, sea shipping offers unparalleled capacity. A single container ship can carry thousands of 20-foot equivalent units, or TEUs, making it a workhorse for international trade. Additionally, sea shipping proves to be cost-effective, especially for long-haul shipments. When it comes to moving large quantities of goods across vast distances, no other mode of transport can compete with the sea. And let's not forget about the environmental aspect. Despite its vast scale, sea shipping emits less carbon dioxide per unit of freight per mile than both air and road transport. This makes it a greener choice for our planet. Now here's a staggering fact. Sea shipping is responsible for carrying about 90% of world trade. That's right. Nearly everything we use in our daily lives has been on a ship at some point. Without sea shipping, our world would look very different. Indeed, it's hard to imagine a world without it. Now, did you know there are different types of sea shipments? Let's dive into two of the most common ones, less than container load, or LCL, and full container load, or FCL. LCL is like carpooling for cargo. Multiple shippers share space in a single container, each paying only for the room their goods occupy. This is a cost-effective option when you don't have enough cargo to fill a whole container. On the other hand, FCL is when one shipper rents an entire container. This is ideal for larger shipments as it provides more control over the packing and handling of the goods, and often quicker transit times. But it's not just about LCL and FCL. There are also specialized containers like refrigerated units for perishable goods, tank containers for liquids, and open-top containers for oversized cargo. Choosing the right type of shipment is crucial for efficient and cost-effective logistics. Sea shipping is not just about moving goods, it's about facilitating global trade. You see, different countries around the globe specialize in producing different goods. For instance, Japan may be a hub for electronics, while Brazil excels in coffee production. This worldwide specialization naturally leads to a need for exchange, and that's where sea shipping comes in. Sea shipping allows these countries to import what they need and export what they produce efficiently and cost-effectively. It is the vital link in the chain of global trade, connecting producers and consumers across continents. 
It ensures goods reach their destined markets in time, maintaining the smooth functioning of global commerce. And it's not just about tangible goods. Sea shipping also plays a crucial role in the exchange of resources and raw materials, underpinning industries and economies worldwide. So, sea shipping is truly the backbone of our globalized economy. Let us quickly revisit what we've learned today. We've navigated the intricate world of global logistics and discovered the immense importance of sea shipping. It's a titan of transport, outshining air and road alternatives in terms of volume and environmental impact. We've also dipped our toes into the diverse types of sea shipments. We've explored less than container load or LCL, where various shippers share space in a single container, and full container load or FCL, where a single shipper monopolizes the container space. Each type has its unique advantages, tailored to the needs of the shipper. Moreover, we've sailed through the significant role of sea shipping in the ebb and flow of global trade. It's the lifeblood of imports and exports, moving goods across continents and keeping the wheels of commerce turning. So next time you buy something that's been imported, give a thought to the complex journey it has made, largely thanks to sea shipping. Hi and welcome. This video gives an insight into the EU multi-annual strategic plan for electronic customs, MASP-C. What traders need to know. The Multi-Annual Strategic Plan for Electronic Customs, MASP-C, is a European Union initiative that aims to replace all paper-based customs procedures with electronic versions by 2025. The plan was launched in 2009 and is currently in its third phase. The MASP-C is based on four key pillars. Single Window, a single electronic portal where traders can submit all of their customs declarations and other related documentation. Risk Management, a risk-based approach to customs controls, which targets high-risk goods and shipments while facilitating the movement of low-risk goods. Interoperability, the ability of different custom systems to communicate seamlessly. Compliance, a focus on ensuring that traders comply with customs regulations through education, assistance and enforcement. The MASP-C is being implemented through a series of projects which the European Commission and the EU member states manage. Some of the key projects include eManifest, an electronic system for submitting manifest data to customs authorities before the arrival of goods, ePayments, an electronic system for making customs payments, Authorised Economic Operator, AEO, a programme that allows traders to benefit from simplified customs procedures and reduced controls, recognising their good compliance record, Import Control System, ICS, a system for managing the import of goods into the EU, including the risk assessment and selection of goods for physical controls. Export Control System, ECS. A system for managing the export of goods from the EU, including the risk assessment and selection of goods for physical controls. The MASP-C is still underway, but it has already made significant progress. For example, over 90% of customs declarations in the EU are now submitted electronically. The mass PC is expected to have a major impact on trade in the EU by reducing costs and delays and improving security. What does the mass PC mean for businesses? The mass PC will significantly impact businesses that trade with the EU. Businesses must adapt their systems and processes to comply with the new electronic requirements. However, the mass PC will also offer several benefits to businesses, including reduced costs and delays. The MASPC will streamline customs procedures and make it easier and faster for businesses to trade with the EU. Improved security. The MASPC will help to improve the security of the EU's borders by making it more difficult for criminals to smuggle goods into and out of the EU. Increased competitiveness. The MASPC will help businesses to become more competitive by reducing the costs and complexity of cross border trade. How can businesses prepare for the MASPC? There are a number of things that businesses can do to prepare for the MASP-C, including assess their current systems and processes. Businesses should assess their current systems and processes to identify any gaps or areas that need to be updated in order to comply with the new electronic requirements. Develop an implementation plan. Businesses should develop a plan for implementing the necessary changes to their systems and processes. This plan should include a timeline and budget. Seek advice and support. 
Businesses can seek advice and support from their customs brokers, trade associations and the European Commission. The Mass PC is a significant initiative that will significantly impact trade in the EU. Businesses that trade with the EU should take steps now to prepare for the new electronic requirements. How can iCustoms help businesses for MASP? iCustoms is an AI-based platform that can automate the customs declaration process, helping businesses save time and money and reduce the risk of errors. iCustoms works by centralizing all customs operations and automating all filing requirements without human input. This can significantly accelerate import-export times reduce administrative costs, and ensure compliance with international customs regulations. iCustoms fully complies with the MASP-C initiative, and its software modules handle all declarations, duty rates, tariffs, and other provisions. This is especially important during legislative change, as errors can be easily made and could result in expensive penalties. Overall, iCustoms can help businesses to save time and money on customs declarations, reduce the risk of errors, accelerate import-export times, ensure compliance with international customs regulations, reduce administrative costs. With iCustoms businesses can automate their customs declaration process and improve their overall customs compliance. <laughs>
According to UNCTAD Secretary General Rebecca Grinspan, this is Africa's moment to fortify its presence in global supply chains, while ongoing diversification efforts provide a unique opportunity for the continent to bolster emerging industries, stimulate economic growth, and generate employment opportunities for millions. Africa's substantial reserves of critical minerals and metals, including aluminum, cobalt, copper, lithium, and manganese, which are integral components in technology-intensive industries, position the continent as an attractive manufacturing destination. Recent disruptions resulting from trade uncertainties, geopolitical events, and economic instability have compelled manufacturers to diversify their production bases. Africa's advantages extend to its proximity to primary resources, a young, tech-savvy and adaptable workforce, and a growing middle class with an increasing appetite for sophisticated goods and services. The report emphasizes that fostering an environment conducive to technology-intensive industries can raise wages in Africa, which currently stand at a minimum of $220 per month, compared to an average of $668 in the Americas. Deeper integration into global supply chains can enhance the resilience of African economies against future shocks. Expanding energy supply chains in Africa also presents an opportunity to accelerate climate action. The continent's substantial renewable energy potential, particularly in solar power, can reduce production costs and lessen reliance on fossil fuel-based energy sources. However, to fully harness this potential, Africa requires more investment in renewable energy, as only about 2% of global investments in renewable energy currently flow to the continent. Investing in renewable energy could catalyze the local production of solar panels, thereby promoting sustainability in local industries. <laughs>